It's Tasmania's only gay bar, and for almost two decades, it's provided a safe space and a place to party. But that's all about to change. We've had notification from the new owner uh, last Friday that we have um, till the end of October to vacate the premises. And while times are tough for any club, they're more worried about their community. Well, it's not really about us, it's about our community. And uh, we've had quite a few messages that many of them are, are devastated. Places such as Flamingos are vital for our community because we still face discrimination in this day. <laughs> For Rosie, the celebration of queerness and identity she found at Flamingos and other inclusive events gave her the courage to come out. When I started transitioning, I felt so vulnerable and being able to attend parties and events enabled me to first start experimenting with how I identified and presented myself. The closure of flamingos doesn't mean the end of queer parties. Pubs and clubs around the state host one-off nights. <laughs> the annual Taz Pride Festival is in planning for its 2021 event. And then there's Limbo, which has staged dance parties in Hobart and Launceston. It really creates a nice space for queer Tasmanians to just let their hair down and have some fun. But the fun is fleeting. Whilst Limbo will continue to put on our parties, uh, you know, every few months or so, uh, it's certainly not the same thing as having a permanent queer venue. The doors here at the dance bar will close for the final time after last drinks this weekend. But the owners have vowed it's not the end for flamingos as they search for a new home. Lucy MacDonald, ABC News.